Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Naomi Boyer and today's video is gonna be 2019 Valentine's Day looks. So for this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I have collaborated with a girlfriend of mine. Her name is Christy Ferrari. Her and I both will be showing you three Valentine's looks each. She has such great style and she is also a doctor and so she has really great insight on things like mental health and things that are just super interesting. So again, be sure to follow her on YouTube. I will We'll leave the links um, down below in the description box. She's just Chrissy Ferrari on YouTube and on Instagram she is Christy underscore Ferrari. And also, as a bonus for this video, we are doing a giveaway. We are doing a $250 giveaway so that one lucky winner can go ahead and buy themselves their Valentine's look of choice or you can recreate one of our looks in the video. Now in order to enter and be eligible for this giveaway, you do have to be following Christy Ferrari and I, both on YouTube and on Instagram. Every link to follow us, again, like I said, will be linked in the description box below. You also have to thumbs up or like this video and leave a comment down in the description box below letting us know which one of your outfits are your favorites. Again, the guidelines will also be in the description box below. This giveaway does end on February 8th. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick run through of the three looks that I will be showing you guys in today's video. So to start off, I thought I wanted to do an all black look for those of you guys who maybe are kind of anti-Valentine, that are still going out to celebrate, or maybe some of you guys don't have a lot of reds or a lot of pinks in your closet. An all black look is still always sexy. You can always dress it up to make it Valentine's, maybe add a red lip, pretty eyeshadow, or maybe do something like nice with your hair. This is pretty much a full Zara look. This one I liked and I thought was really sweet because it has a tie at the side of the neck now you guys can use any black top you have if you don't have anything like this you can even do a black and white polka dot top if you have one or even like a leopard top or even a red top and then for bottoms I wanted to do something a little more edgy a little more dressy than the plain jean of course you can do a regular black jean if you wanted to as well but I feel like something like this makes it a little more fun and then for the shoes I have my super dirty serum Weitzman really simple strappy heel again you can throw on a over the knee boot you can throw on any type of boot even like a snake skin if you really want to just go more edgy you can add a black leather jacket you can add a coat there are so many ways to improvise for an all-black Valentine's look all right so for this next look this one is a little more girly a little more feminine um, a little bit daytime but you can also make this one a little more nighttime if you add maybe some over the knee boots and a coat I took this top right here it is a white puffy shoulder top. Now a lot of you may not have something like this in your closet, so any off the shoulder top will do. Even something like mine will do. You could even take a white sweater if you wanted to. And then for the bottoms, I'm taking this super cute wrap over skirt. Um, it is a skirt, so it has shorts in the back. This one I got from Revolve. Actually, these two I both got from Revolve. Now again, a lot of you may not have something like this in your closet, but you could just do any pink or red skirt or bottom. You could do pink or red pants. You could do pink or a red pencil skirt whatever you have that's this shade with something off the shoulder can be super super cute since this is a more daytime look I just took my Tamara melon heels that you can see up there that are white you could do white boots with this as well I know it may be a lot colder where some of you guys are so like I said maybe adding a sweater instead of something like this over with your over the knee boots and adding a coat would be really cute grays or neutral colors would be really cute with these colors as well. All right, lastly, I went full Valentine doing the pink and the red together. This is a super delicate feminine ruffle top that I got from Vici in like this dusty pink color. And I'm just pairing it with these trousers that I got from Misguided. Now this one you can wear to work. You can do from the desk to dinner. Like I said, maybe some of you may not have red pants. So you could do something pink on the top and maybe white on the bottom or even black. And then for the shoes, these are actually my wedding shoes. These are Aquazora. Because I was spending a lot of money on my wedding shoes, I wanted them to be something I could wear after the wedding as well. So they're just really simple silver heels. Again, white shoes or nude shoes will work as well. But again, you can definitely improvise with stuff that you have that you usually wear to work, but maybe just reaching for your more girly feminine Valentine's Day colors for that day. And then for the hair, you guys will see that I have these really cute bobby pins right here. This is the new Justine Marjan collection um, by Kitsch. 
And if you're not familiar with who Justine Marjan is, she is a hairstylist to a lot of celebrities like the Kardashians. So she came out with her own line and I just added two of these pins to the side of my hair just to make it a little more glam, a little more dressed up. So if you are wearing something like this um, to work and then going out on a date afterwards, you can just add something simple to your hair Add a red lip and you're good to go. And you can also dress this down as well. If you don't want to do red pants, you could do black pants, you could do blue jeans or white jeans as well. All right, so stay tuned for the lookbook portion of the video. Also stay tuned to the end to see Christy Ferrari's version of the Valentine's Day lookbook. And make sure you scroll down to the bottom of the video and to the description box so that you can enter our giveaway. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. <laughs> excited to be teaming up with Naomi. My name is Christy Ferrari and we teamed up to show you some fun Valentine's Day outfits. If you want to find me after this video, you can search for my name, Christy Ferrari, over here on YouTube as well as on Instagram at Christy underscore Ferrari. So outfit number one is the most casual. So this is if you are staying at home, you're making a fondue dinner, you're making uh, something romantic, and you're gonna be cuddling on the couch. So this, I thought of a uh, sweater dress would be perfect for this occasion because it's cozy, yet it's still fun, it's festive, you're wearing red, um, and you get to still show off your legs. And how would you style this for an at-home dinner? So you can either be totally barefoot and just wear the sweater. You can rock some thigh-high socks or um, you can wear some uh, thigh-high boots if you want to dress it up. On to outfit number two. So this one I'm really excited to show you because I'm wearing the shirt. It's only $12 and I love finding a good find. So hit this up before it sells out in a hot second. Um, this is from Forever 21 and so I styled this with a pair of denim. If you don't want to wear denim, you can swap the denim out for a pair of black uh, leather or faux leather pants. Then for shoes, just add some uh, over the knee thigh high boots. If it's particularly cold where you are, you can add a fun red coat to your outfit. Um, you can also add a belt if you're not into uh, tucking your shirt into your jeans without a belt. Um, or you can just add like a huge red cozy cardigan. And this outfit is great if you're going to a more casual dinner, if you're going to school. And on to look number three. So this is the dressiest one of them all. So I love this red dress for many reasons. I love that it's v-neck. So that means it's gonna help you look taller and skinnier because it's gonna help uh, draw your eyes up and down. I love that it has a belt to it. So that's gonna help accentuate your waist and make you look a little bit slimmer. I love these uh, cutout slits down the sleeve. So when you walk, you're gonna have some movement. So it's just so fun. The dress is short 
harder. Um, so that does make it a little bit more uh, appropriate for Valentine's Day. But the fact that it is more covered up on top means that you're gonna still look classy while wearing the dress. So how should you style this dress? I would wear it with black or camel over the knee boots, but you can also wear a great pair of sandals and that's totally up to your preference. As for coat, go for a neutral color or go for a red that's kind of like the same color as this. And that's perfect uh, to wear if you have a fancier dinner to go to or you have a fun couples party. <laughs> Just get 